This is the new Golden Ally power wheelchair. It folds up. The model number is GP303. Now it comes in three colors. This one's the black one, I believe. So we're gonna do an unboxing. What we're gonna do is cut this, cut it here, and open it up. First time unboxing this unit, probably the first unboxing that you'll find on this unit. But I have seen this power chair. It's extremely nice. It's about 50 something pounds. I'll check the specs. So don't expect it to be the lightest fold up power chair in the market, but it's meant to be very durable and powerful compared to some of the carbon power chairs you see by Pride Mobility and the Cricket by Golden. This is more of a luxury power wheelchair. That's gonna give you the opportunity to use it inside your house and outside. And it does have smart technology, Bluetooth technology. Um, so first there's your charger. As you come in a little bit close, you can see what it looks like. There'll be your manual. manual. And it's a Robo Booter E40, if that confuses you. So basically, Golden is distributing these for Robo Booter, which, oh, yeah, Robo Booter. So it's really the E40, uh, but now they're going to have more of a headquarters in the United States with Golden Technologies and backed by Golden Technologies customer service and tech service. So that's why we're bringing this in. Um, so this is your manual, but don't let that confuse you a little bit when you see that. So when we get that on the box, you possibly could pick this up depending on how strong you are. Just pull that right up and uh, you really, that's almost your whole unboxing. So this should be a really quick unboxing. Push this down, bring this up, and then you'll just flip it right up so you're gonna to want to charge the battery here's your battery now you have to turn this and turn that and this will allow this battery to come out of this so look you can still charge this battery through here now this is the I wanted to check the battery so this is the 20 amp hour uh, 14 mile non TSA battery. You can get the TSA battery. It's coming soon. It'll be a nine mile. Um, I think it's a 12 amp hour battery. So right now this is your long distance. Um, and uh, it's in all black. They have a teal, which we'll call it green. Um, and uh, yeah, looks good. So let's put this thing on the charger, let it charge up for 12 hours, and then we'll show you how this thing works. But it's gonna have USB, A, and I believe C. It's gonna have a light on the front. So right here, just remove all this. This will be your charging stations. That's your standard USB. That's the new one. Flip back arms, you have a light right here. You'll have a digital dashboard right here. You'll have this to flip back. This is your palm style joystick. You can charge it through here along with charging it there. And what's, um, this is probably like six, seven pounds. Let's fold this up real quick. Oh, look at this is your memory foam seat cushion. You can change these seat cushions if you like. Um, here's your nice storage compartment. So fold this down. There's these little levers. On one side, you don't have to do it on both. So one side, bring it here. It's going to scare you a little bit. Folds down. Then you can actually roll this like this really cool air pneumatic tires honeycomb caster tires these are 10 inch and then you would pick this up just like so to unlock it pull that and watch this thing so cool it's going to come with this also storage compartment back here so bottle holder it's actually pretty large. We'll see what all fits in there. A little spare hidden part compartment. Super cool. Here's your free wheels so you can roll it manually. So if you want to push someone like a wheelchair, transport chair, you can. It's 
got the nice leather look, armrest, really classy, really nice. Unlock it, take the battery out, turn that to the unlock position. You'll also have that on the other side. Turn that to the unlock position. Flip this back, flip this back. This will be able to come out when you're traveling or if you didn't want to take this unit inside your house, this can be removed. Now, if you're going to be taking this in your house, you don't need to do this. Or if you're not really taking it, you're at an independent living, you can charge it through the charging port on the chair. But when you're ready to travel to make it a little bit lighter, remove this battery. Put it back in. Just take it right here. Now, you can't do it the other way, so you'll see. Come here. On both sides, you're going to do this. Lock. And then for some extra security, turn it to the lock and turn it to the lock. Here's your brake system. So in order for this to operate, you gotta have this in the up position. If you wanna roll it for some reason it dies or you're getting to a tight spot or overcrowded place and you wanna push the person in it, push those down, now you can push it. It has a nice little handle right here. So I'm gonna turn this unit on and it's gonna have like a, it's gonna to talk to you what's wrong with it. So I'm gonna leave this in a free will because that's very common for something that might happen. I'm gonna press this on button. Hold it down a little bit. Brake open. open. So it's giving me an error code. Now in your manual, I'll tell you what these error codes are, but it said brakes open. So let's go back here to the back. Look at the light that comes on. That's just gonna be, flip this up and back over here. It's locked out. We're at 87%, so it has your, your speed and your battery, and it's locked. So I think it's locked because we probably should turn it off and then turn it back on. So hold this for a second. So that's a security thing. So when you're getting out of this unit, you don't turn it on. But it's going to add a lot of security to it that you're going to have to teach them how to operate it at first. After that, it's not gonna be hard. So the nice part about this, when you can get up out of these and you don't have to worry about pressing a button and it's gonna take off on them. Even if it turns on just like that just happened, it's automatically gonna be locked. So in order to unlock it, and it has a lock button right there, press that again. That unlocks this power chair to operate. Now, that's on speed five. We're gonna bring that down to speed one. Here's the foot plate. The foot plate comes up pretty nice. And uh, it's actually really, really comfortable. We sell a lot of carbons. We sell a lot of crickets. They're nice because they're super light, but they're just not as comfortable as this chair. This is probably one of the most comfortable, portable power chairs I've sat in. Um, and I like this feature right here. I like the palm, like the wheel. They have it kind of turned a little bit. It's got a pretty good turning race. Now we're at the slowest speed. You can turn it up to speed two and be a little bit faster. You can turn it up to speed four and it gets up to five miles per hour. Now it has a little bit of talking to you when you're reversing, but it's kind of, it's not like a beep and it's really short. So that's not a big deal. It has like a car horn to it. And then it has some SOS button. I don't know what it does, but I guess it's going to alert someone maybe in the Bluetooth. So we're going to go through the Bluetooth te the app that they have, and they might have a certain like direct contact to your mother, your father. I'm not sure yet, but I think that's what the SOS is. Um, yeah. Come here. Again, you can get right out of it. Flip back arms, really nice mesh back. The lights over here, to turn this light on, it's a, um, it's a soft like button. You come here, get this. Are you, look at this soft button, turn on. And then you flip this up. And there's your charging ports. I'm going to take this outside, my demo, so we'll take this out to my farm, probably take it out today actually.
We just had a bad rainstorm. Oh. What the hell? Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Now, I was trying to turn too sharp, so you might want to turn this a little bit, but this is a thick grass and it just rained. Oh yeah. Use this in your yard. You can use it in your yard. Oh yeah. It's a pretty big hill. Lean forward. Made it up it. That's steep, guys. Coming down. Perfect. Let me come over here. And the grass is wet. <coughs> Passes. This will be fine for outside. All right, so download the app for the new Robo Booter. Once you get that downloaded, you gotta have the power chair on. It must be locked. It must to be run. locked. Okay. Turn that on. Press that. Wait for it to connect. Bluetooth connected. It just right. said Bluetooth connected. There you go. Okay. You got to go in your settings. You can adjust. You got your generals. You can voice settings, your time, your cruise control, speed, gear memory, battery information, current version. And if you want to do remote control, right there. And we're ready. This would be the center. And... So there you go. That's how you operate it. Go back into that settings. Your settings. You just said, oh my God, yes. So I was like, let me show me, put you in here. So she, she's looking at the new uh, GP303. Is it Phil? Feel? feels awesome. It, it's so comfortable compared to anything else I've been in. I, I've tried some of the others and this is the bomb. <laughs> it is the bomb. That's exactly what I said. It, so, it yeah. yeah, yes. It's very comfortable. All right. And especially because I'm not a skinny mini. <laughs> It's in, in between the arms, you feel like yeah, it's I'm plenty fine. of room. I'm fine. I'm very comfortable. Awesome. Now I'm going straight ahead. And this is the first time really riding in a power chair? I tried one of your other wheelchairs like this, but it wasn't comfortable. Yep. And when I, and I, and I was driving with this stick shift here, and um, it was going like this. Yep. And this one is not doing that. Yeah, come right over it. You're doing great. Okay, I'm going to go straight. Let's go straight. Awesome. Awesome. Don't take it back to where I started. You could right there if you like. Okay. So I got Eddie here. Eddie's about, can I tell your age? He's, he's an original Angelina. from LA and he's going <laughs> to actually tell you the truth. So he sees all this stuff. He's been with us for how long? A year and a half. A year and a half. So he sees all the different scooters. He helps put stuff together, different power chairs. So far, we just got this in, looking at it from an LA perspective. I think it's extremely cool. I love the armrest. You know, if you gotta get in, you can go sideways, twist yep. around like this. Yep, so if you have a hard time pulling the footrest up and down, that's the proper way to probably get into it. You know, like this, come out like this. And what else does it do with it? Did you know it has the, it has the lights on it? <clears throat> so this is your light. It's just oh, a little touch. Beautiful. 
And wow. then, you know, obviously these uh, USB charging ports have been changing. So you have both options to both charging stations right here. Uh, this is has a nice, like classic look to it. Isn't that leather? It, I don't know if it's true leather, but it, it looks pretty nice. We'll see how that holds up. It's nice, a little Le bit of a small pad to it. Fill this back. Beautiful. Uh, no, it's comfortable. It's, a it's, very it's actually extremely comfortable. There's a couple pictures that we're going to be changing because the this is different, which I like it better. It's a little bit easier on your palm, controlling it, handling it. That's speed two. How's it? See how it moves. All right. Okay, I, so it's locked. Okay. It's locked. And it's good that it's locked. This is very, very important. People t hit the on button and it takes off when you hit the joystick. I actually locked it. When you turn this on, you always have to unlock it. So right here, unlock. Ooh, I like and then look, listen to the horn. Let's get that real quick. <laughs> listen to the horn. And then it tells unlock. you if it's locked. Unlock. Unlock. Um, and it does have an app and a lot of technology. We're going to go through that later, just so you know if you're looking at this, trying to keep this video as short as we can. It says reversing, but it's real one-time soft. I'll see if that can be turned off or not. But they made this to be very safe. Now, you see the front light? Turn it around, Eddie. He's on speed two. It goes up to uh, gear five, five miles per hour. There's your back light. Show them that little bag. This is this bag. Storage compartment. Look, everyone when they buy a scooter, they're always looking for a bag. Free bag's gonna come with it, especially from us. Open this up. It's a nice bag. It's it's a nice bag. Um, it's made well. All this is made well. Yeah. I mean, it really, really is. And comfortable. Your manual, you got tool, you have this little bottle holder. You can put your, um, if you, okay, so if you have a concentrator, oxygen concentrator, you could possibly put it back here, but it also has a bag underneath it that you could put that at, so that's important. Um, you can put a fold-up cane in here. You can put an umbrella in here. I would imagine it's gonna be like an XP4 rated. I'll check on the water, so I wouldn't worry about getting caught up in a little bit of a rainstorm, not a downfall rainstorm, um, but I'm gonna check on that for you. You can control this with your phone. If he, if you get to a crowded environment, you can turn it off. You can put this in free will and actually roll it like a transport chair. Like if you go to the sure. fair or Disney World and you get a little bit scared, this is extremely comfortable and it's something that can be really easy to travel with. But just keep this in mind. It's not going to be 34, 36 pounds, but it doesn't really feel that heavy. I think they say the specs on this thing is uh it's on the website i'll put that on the little popper It'll be right up here so um, um you know how to fold it down yes lock right, let's see if he can fold this down so turn it off yeah by holding the button so unlock it then let's turn this thing off so hold that button turn it off So there's one latch to do. Now go ahead, don't be scared, don't be scared. Don't Whoa. be scared to do it. Got it. Now it does have a safety belt, it has a seat belt. So if you're buying this for yourself, you're buying this for your parents, all the safety features are here. Everything you're looking for, this can be something you can use every single day. I remember when they brought it, someone brought it in to me and said, what do you think about this chair? They brought me a couple different ones. I said, this is the chair. This is what we're looking for. The other really good fold up chair is the Will FI. I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's a little over heavy and awkward to pick up. This is actually very convenient to pick up. Um, so you can, and, yeah. and yeah, you could roll it. Oh yeah. yeah. Can you stand it straight up? Oh yeah. Stand it straight up, put this in the closet. Um, you're oh, yeah. traveling. We're gonna get you we're gonna get you a rundown real quick of the specs. Now to unfold this, just come down. This is a little latch. You push down and then you just bring your hand. So a little latch right here. Zoom in real quick for me, Scotty. This here, and then just bring it up. So that could be a little heavy for 
some people. You'll get the hang of it. It kind of scares you at first if you're not used to it. But the way that they designed this, it's basically, you can kind of walk to the front to do it. Then it's locked. So when you pick it up, it doesn't unfold. Just push that down and watch. It's kind of here. So you're not really having to pick it up. So now that's, if you're worried about, if you can't pick up 50 pounds, you're probably gonna to wanna to go into your local dealer. Golden has local dealers all over the country. You can contact me. I got friends all over the country that sell Golden products. I'll send you right over there to them or we can drop ship these straight to you. But this is a luxury yeah. power chair. This is a nice power chair. Where's my measuring tape? Scott, we're gonna, hey, all right, so sitting in this, could you sit in this, seriously, could you sit in this for six to eight hours? For sure, this is, this is comfortable. Very comfortable. I like, I like the way it feels. Seat, the cushion's good, nice cushion. The back feels good, feels good. And if you did take this grocery shopping, people do use one hand and push the other one in front of them. If you're going into really quick, there's a small little bag under there. And again, you have that back bag. And we have different little attachments. We'll see if it works that you can put some bags on the side. Um, it, I don't know. Just, just think they did a great job with it. Between the arms is about 18 and a half inches. So the seats, all seats are going to be kind of small in some of these fold-ups. But this mm. one is probably wider than the carbon in the Cricut. Um, That's nice. It is comfortable. I like the it, backpack. Uh, all right, good. so if you had to buy one of these chairs for, for you. Oh. What you say you had to? I mean, what's what you say? <laughs> hey, out of all the of all of these all I, the chairs. This is here. the most up to date one. I've driven all of these other ones. This is number one right now. Okay. This is number one. All right. <clears throat> I mean I've tried, I like I like those other ones, but this one is how, the most comfortable. How tall are you? Six foot. All right, sit back in. He's six foot. How much do you weigh, if you don't mind? 185. Oh, that's stretching it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do you feel you feel comfortable? Oh, I feel very foot? comfortable. Scott, you're six. Six four. Go jump in that chair real quick for me. Oh, yeah. Do, do you feel okay in it? Oh, yeah. This is, right? This is beautiful. I mean, it's comfortable, isn't it? I mean, I feel comfortable with it. Yes. Okay. All right. Here. Let's go take this outside. Screw it. All right. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take this outside. I know it's it was raining. No, nah, it stopped. But we ain't worried about it because this, I don't see how this could be damaged from that. So put this back down. Um, Maybe, uh, yep. So we're inside a store, just so you know, this is a small store. So if you go to a grocery store, you don't have to worry about a grocery store. Look, you can maneuver it. Let's we'll see if I can get to the um, back here. Can I slide through here? Excuse me, please. So I'm going to turn it down so I'm getting a tight space. And let's just come back here. There's, let's see, so if you're working. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Hey Denise, pretty cool. You know, I could probably get it there or I can get this back up, control it here once you get used to it. If you're younger wow. and you still gotta work, um, this might be too low. Let's see how low this is. This might not be ADA. This is a less than 30 inches. So this probably should have been a little bit higher. So just, if you had, it needs to be, um, to get under the table, nice, 31 inches, 32, you're golden, 31, you'll be fine. Um, and again, you have your Bluetooth, you can use it, but getting in a tight office like this. Mary, do you like this? Reverse do you want to sit in it? Can you sit in it, please? This is Miss Mary. She beat cancer. She's done with radiation. She is, how tall are you? 5'2". Five 5'2", two. Five two. just sit in here for me. Uh-oh. 
You can lock this out. So if you're worried about it, you can just press lock and it locks it okay. to unlock it right here. Um, so, so far, how does it feel? Feels good. Comfortable. Is it better than the office chair you said? Yes. <laughs> Lumbar's good. Isn't it? Isn't it this good is not a new office chair. Yeah. But it could be. Mm -hmm. Feels good. I like the leather on the arm. I like the arms. Awesome. Drive it out here, Mary. Do you want me to slow it down? Now, I'm sure this can be programmable. This is really tight through here. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, I'll get you going. You can do it if you mess up. Well, got to practice. Mary doesn't really drive these units. No. Is this your first time doing it? No, but with this joystick, yeah. It's a palm style joystick compared to a top post yeah, like this. Compared to that. So it, 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 it will take a second. Lock out. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. I like this. Oh, yeah. I can see myself driving this thing around all day long. Oh, it's comfortable. Seat's comfortable, the back's comfortable. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? You fell asleep. Hey, what am I doing here? How did I get here? Who you pushed me over here. You fell asleep in the new power chair. Oh my God. This thing, is this from, this is remote? Can you believe it that you were driving it oh all over the God. place? I was asleep. Oh my God. This is, re don't run me off a cliff. <laughs> three power chairs, three chairs that fold up. Very lightweight, nice, very comfortable chair, um, very narrow chair. He just rode it down this grass. Now this grass is pretty thick, it's about two, three, even four inches.
Yeah, this one has a better turning radius. Yeah, this one moves pretty good as well. A little soggy right now, a lot of rain. When you rode this one, how did it do in that grass? It, ha it handled real good. It was real strong. The motor strong, no problem. Cutting through the grass, not at all. Okay. Then you rode this one. How'd this one do? Uh, this one did the same thing. It has the same kind of power, same power, and, but except the turning was a little difficult. Turning on the acceleration's a little um, slow, um, so kind of you have to kind of go forward a little bit. Because they, that's a good thing, especially if you use it inside the house, because it doesn't like jerk real hard on you. Mm. Then we rode this one. We brought this one in the video because this one is the carbon. It's lightweight. And it's a very popular chair. Don't sell it really as a made for the grass type things, but Parks is fine. It made it. How did it do? Oh there? yeah, this was good. This just as powerful as the, the other two. Uh, Turn much easier at the end. Uh, it has the same power as, as, as these two, I believe. Yeah. It felt like. This is TSA approved. That's TSA approved. This one has the biggest battery. It's not TSA approved, but they do have one that's coming out. Um, comfort wise on these three, sitting in them. You want to sit in this one? Sit in this one real quick. And how tall are you, 6'2"? Six, six. Six foot. Six foot. Uh, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. So if one to ten. I would say it's about an eight. That's kind of high. Don't Is it? Think? I don't know. I mean, you ever watch the pizza reviews? All right, now come over here. <laughs> so you're giving it like the best pizza though from that one guy, right. Barstools. So that was a... An eight? Well, that's... Oh, no, this is an eight. No, that one's a seven. A seven? Yeah. This one has a higher back. Check yeah, out the back higher on back. this. Yeah, higher back. That's so what it back is. the back is about 14 inches from the seat. Um, and I don't think you can adjust that. You can't. This does have a removable seat cushion as long as that one and that one. All right, so then you gave this a what? A seven? Yeah. And then this one an eight? Oh, yeah. All right, we'll hop over here to the carbon really quick. Well, I didn't measure this. Hang on, Eddie. So from the seat, we're almost at 19 inches. Yeah, that's a and good And again, this is a removable seat cushion, so you can change out the seat cushions if you have a custom one or whatever. You can change that. A lower profile one, a higher profile one, whatever you want. Now you're in the basic, most basic cushion. Right. How's that feel? This feels nice. It's, it's comfortable. It's light. I feel light. I don't feel as heavy like that. Other wheelchairs feel a bit more sturdy. This is a little bit easier to maneuver, I would think. Okay. You know, it's 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 a lighter chair. You can feel it. And, but it's comfortable. Well, it's the carbon. Yeah. So it's supposed to be light. Yeah, you want it light, yeah. I will mention to you really quick before we get into a lot of other stuff, these don't flip back. So if you're a transfer, you have to come out the front. If you had a transfer from right to left, can't do it. This one does have the arms that flip back, and so does the carbon. You can flip this back. So that's a kind of a big deal. Just throw that out there to you. I will say that this one gets way out the way compared to these two. Right. Um, so it's easier to get in and out. This one looks better to me. This one's Bluetooth. That one's Bluetooth. That one's not. So you can do a couple things in the Bluetooth app. Um, this leather look or touch, I, I don't know if that's real leather or not, but it feels really nice. Um, you also have the digital dash, the digital display along with this one over here. And you have the convenient USB, both of them built right onto the choice or the remote. This one, the, both, all three of these chairs, you can move the, the joystick from right to left. You can actually, this is set at 18 inches. You can make this into a 16 inches. So this can be very narrow. You just have to do a couple changes and you can increase this handlebar height with this one. This one's stationary, that one's stationary. This can be moved from right to left too. So if you're a left-hander, both all these chairs could be moved over. 
the easiest one to move would be that one. This one would be second. This one would be third. From number one, comfort, which one's number one? This What's one. number two? Oh, that one. And number three? This one. Right Perfect. Here. All right. So let's talk about the FI right here by Will. It's a, it performs very well if you had to use it in the yard. We wouldn't sell it to you as an ultimate outdoor power wheelchair for the yard. The benefits that this one brings to someone is that if you were a smaller person and you need it very narrow, again, this is swooping out a little bit. All that can be changed around to make this into 16 inches. So this is about 22 inches overall width, which is nice. Um, so if you currently have a power wheelchair and you can't get through your bathroom doors or you have some narrow doorways, I've had people buy this just because of that reason. Um, this foot plate's pretty easy to pull up and down. I don't really care for this bar too much, but I just got off the phone with someone that has this and he's interested in another chair and they have no issue with it at all. So you can put your hands here to get up. I like that. Um, you have a little storage bag underneath it. The tires on this particular unit is about seven inches at the front. The back tires back here are about the same. Just a little bit wider if you see the, the, the width. How you can charge this unit is different than all three of these. You have one way of charging it unless you buy accessory port that you can bring up here. I don't know really how that would work on this particular unit but this is the battery. You can charge it right through here. You can keep this in to charge it. And again, this is lightweight, about six pounds, FFA approved. You can travel all over the world with this thing. Um, you don't need an extra battery unless you get it and you think you might need a one because you're all day using it eight hours or something. So that's the battery. The battery over here on the alley, it's about the same. I like the handle on that. You can charge it through here, but the benefit you'd get is you can also charge it directly through the joystick. So if you're using this inside your house, if you live at independent living and you need to charge it, it's easily charged through here or if you're traveling a lot and you don't want to take the chair inside, you could take just this battery pack inside, you could charge it through here. But this is a 20 amp hour battery. This is the long range battery they have at the moment. They have this in many different colors. It's just a shroud that you change out. They have this in three different colors, the teal, black, and white. And this comes in white or this finish all the way around. Now charging this unit, you can charge it right through the joystick. You also have your USB charging port. Or you can easily remove the battery and charge it directly through here. This battery is very light. This is the smallest battery of the three. It's a 288, so it's very comparable to that one down there. All right. Again, on this one, you can change this seat cushion out. And you have a storage compartment here. This one has the same thing. Storage compartment underneath. But has a super nice bag at the back that comes with it that you'll like. Alright, um, let's talk about um, put it in free will and push it. Alright. Another cool thing about these chairs, all three of them, is that if you get somewhere in its tight spaces and someone gets nervous, you can roll these like a transport chair. Now this one's going to be a little bit harder because you got your hands down here and you have to release the motors from here. Release. 
down, the other side down. Now from here, if someone's in it, you can push them like this. I'm about 5'7", so I'd be bending over. Andre, Eddie would be bending over even more. So that can be done. This one back here, check how nice this is. We don't suggest you always use your foot, but it seems like they designed it to do that. So here and here. Now you can push this thing. Very nice pushing. You got a handlebar. If you're taller, I'm sure this will be still fine for you. And then we're gonna get over here to the carbon. The same thing. You can do your foot if you're very light, but that's the push. And then you can push it. All of these have to be turned off to push. So you can use this as a transport chair, but they also, once you flip it back, they can use it as a power wheelchair. Uh, let's do a uh, fold up. I'm gonna do this with Eddie. You know how to fold these up? Yep. So Eddie's gonna come in. The reason why I'm using him is because we like to be as honest as we can. And this might be too heavy for some people to pick up. We're gonna tell you the specs. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and fold up the FI. You remember how to do that one? Mm. So how to fold the FI up. If you want to reduce the battery or the weight, take the battery out, put that to the side. Josh, you're going to come here with your foot. There's a latch back here. And then this is folded up. Okay? Uh -huh. So this can be rolled. You can put it into the car on its back if you want it to, on its front, like so, on its back, like so. That's how you can travel with it or you can keep it standing upright. Now Eddie, try to pick this up. It's kind of an awkward way to pick up, kind of awkward. That's about 55 pounds, I think. Yeah. Kind of, kind of hard to find spots to pick it up at, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's a, it's about 50 pounds. It's, it's uh, it's not, I, I'm, it's not that easy. But if you have somebody like you helping, you know, be different. So this is a great chair for someone that needs, again, smaller narrow doors. You're not going to really travel too much with it, but you have it do travel. Or if you have someone that can easily handle this, it'd be nice. Cruise ships could be great for it because of how small it is. Just keep, cruise ships, this would be great for cruise ships. All right. Allie, we're going to take the battery out. And to take the battery that's on both sides, you got to go to unlock, clip it, bring it out. Let's put it right there. Fold this bad boy up. Remember the hand thing? Yeah. You already forgot. How to... Hold on. Oh, wait, All right, wait. So Hold how... on. No, no, no. It's right here. On both sides, there's a lever. You don't have to use both, one or the other. Yeah, that was easy. Make, make sure it locks. It's locked. So from here, just so you know, you can roll it and it stands straight up. So it's just as compact as that one is. All right, Eddie, pick this one up. I hit this little... No, pick it up. Just pick oh, it up. Pick it up. Yeah, that's not bad. This is not bad at all. It feels like about 40, what is it, 45? Mm, 49 without the battery, they say. <coughs> this is how you unfold this one. Foot on that back plate, and you're gonna push that button. <coughs> this one unfold it, remember how to do that? Yeah. You 
push this guy push down, down. Yep. Push down and then oh. lift straight up. All right. So let's check out these tires while we're here. About nine and a half inches. Pretty nice size tires. Air for a smoother ride. Front tires are thicker. And the height of it. Overall width at the wheelbase is 24 mm -hmm. and a half. A little bit less than 25. So that's a big deal, guys. You might love this chair, but if you can't get it through your doorways, if you have small doorways, it might have to be something like that. Um, but I will say, between the arms on this one's almost 19 inches, 18 and a half. This one's 325 pounds. This one, I believe, is, let's say, 275, I forgot. That's surprising a little bit. That's 19. But your, your legs can compress to the side where this one's open. So if, if you are a little bit larger, you have room out here. It's not pushing on your sides. And then over here between the arms, it's about 18. Eddie, you know how to do this, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Fold this down. This one has a little... Just look. Is that it? Yep. You can stand it up. As long as the caster wheels are in, you need to have the caster wheels out when you're riding in this. To pick this up, you can pick it up like this. You can pick it up like this. Yeah. Pick that up for me, Eddie. Tell mm -hmm. me how it feels. Yeah. Lighter? Yeah, much lighter. Much lighter. We know that. We know this is a light chair. To unfold it, grab it here, and kind of bring it back. The bat Was the battery in on that? Battery was even in on that. So you can reduce that weight by taking this out. It's like four pounds. Um, overall width, 23 inches. Height of the tire. About eight, across the tire width, about two. So about the same size tires as the caster tires on that. And then up at the front, a little bit less than two. And then the height, it's about, right about there, about six and a half, can't see it. All right, well, let's see which one's faster. Hey. Hey, y'all had to be turned down. Let's do that again. Say one, two, three. One, two, go. Yeah, come on. Let's go, baby. I got zero turn. That's what it was, a zero turn. Well, the FI is a little bit better acceleration. What mode? We need to find out what mode that's in, though. That's got three different modes. I might, that's, they might be in sport mode, but we'll have to look. Um, Oh, another cool thing about the Ally that we like as a light with a soft touch and a light at the back that's always on. No light, no light. I like it. People might not think it's a big deal, but I think it's a big deal. This one comes with a seat belt. That one comes with a seat belt. That one you probably have to add the seat belt. <clears throat> Price wise. They're all similar in pricing. This one's probably going to be a tiny bit cheaper. Um, very similar. Oh, this is adjustable in height. 
You have three adjustments and the foot plate. Um, these can't be. Again, digital dash, digital dash, voice. That one also talks to you if there's something wrong with it. Both of us have Bluetooth. This is just your standard. It's the sun's on us, a little bit of an overcast. This one's harder to see what speed you're at. This one's reasonable. This one's the clearest. So if you're if you have visual, your little bit of vision, you're probably gonna like the F5 better. Move your hand, Eddie. No, he's moving. Good. Horn. Oh, button speed control. Slower, faster, power buttons here, horns right here. Over here. They say don't put your hand on this to get up. So if I, so put your hands back here to get up where you can be out there. Um, this one makes noise, but you can turn it down. That's your speed. This is your horn. That's just an SOS button. That's your power on, power off, but you got to unlock it to turn it off. So you got to hold this, turn it on and off, which you might like, you might not like. Over here, you got your speed. It beeps. Power button, horn. You don't want to put a lot of weight on this to get up. Getting into these can be a little bit easier if you don't want to do the foot plate by like this and coming around and bringing this down. It's easy movement. You can put your hands here, put your hands back here to get up. You can do the same thing with this one. Just flipping that back. Turn this way, Josh. And come right out. So if you don't feel like bending over and grabbing those foot plates, you don't have to if you do this. This one they don't come up and I say that because someone bought this and say look I need to transfer I didn't realize that you couldn't move so we shipped them one of these instead all right let's take it inside and maneuver or what else do we are we missing oh you want to do we want to get some more through the grass okay I'm gonna go first everyone try to just copy my pattern Now what we're going to do here is this is pretty high and not not suggest it to, to, to do this but just for this video we want to show you if it can do it. It's a slope here too and it feels stable. Hey. Hey, do it again. Put those, take that out though. Oh, that could be in there. Make sure the anti tippers are out. That's crucial. Put the anti tippers on that thing. <laughs> Move them out. It's really important to have these out. So, there's the reason why. But at the same time, you shouldn't be going up this. But, Again, if you're riding this for a long period of time, hey, you that need was to have a good those ninja anti tippers move. out. All right, go ahead. And lean forward. Wow. Yeah, all right. It did it. It's struggling. See how it's still moving a little bit? This one felt more secure. Eddie? See how it comes back down? I think this one did better. All right, I'm gonna ride through this real quick. <laughs> he 
He's in a swell, so that's not fair. That swell's there to move water. Try to get up there with it. F5 is cruising. The, the carbon can handle a good cut, well maintained yard that's not so soggy. Pull that seat belt up. Let's drag it on the other side. All right, let's run this through some steel slag. We have it really thick back there because we have 18 wellers and big trucks that come, so nothing does that great back there, but there are some spots. <laughs> you it'll it'll go down road. your gravel road. All, all of these will go down your gravel road. As long as it's not real thick, thick steel slag. Watch this car. Hey, I'm can play you ramp. Y'all come this way. Up, easily in. That's at the, the right setting. If you have a gravel road or if you go to car shows, you're going to go through gravel. See, over there, it's real thick. You can tell where this is thinned out because of the trucks. But look, look how thick this is. So this is called steel slag. This is the reason for this is heavy and it doesn't let the water rush, run this stuff off. But look, look how thick that is. These places in here. I mean, you can't expect a power chair to make it through some of this spot. Some of it's even thicker than this. I got four truckloads, maybe five back here. Actually, six. <coughs> um, right here, you can tell this is what sometimes your, your gravel road is going to look like. This, this, is, this will run all both of these fine. But if you do happen to go to a car show or you go somewhere where you have this, try to keep it as straight as you can and try to keep your speed going. You don't want to stop and turn. You don't want to, you want to kind of keep it going. Look how thick it is right here. So with it doing that, I might can sit here and do donuts and it, it can hold it up. That's pretty well. Josh, come straight right. through the same path I did. Back it up. You just go straight through that. All right, let me explain something. If this happens to you and you have one of these chairs, most of the times people are able, they have mobility. They need this for distance. Um, you might have to get out of this, put this in free will and get it through the situation. That's just, this is just what it is. Um, if you're buying this to go through this stuff, don't buy it. Don't buy any of these three power chairs if this is your primary use is really thick gravel. If your driveway is gravel but it's compact and it's not so thick, you should be fine going down to the mailbox and back. It's like, in a way, it's almost like buying a pair of shoes. I hate to say it. You got your work shoes, you got your running shoes, and you have your uh, boots. If you keep turning it, it's going to make it harder. Those little wheels at the front are thin. This, on both of the carbon and the FI, they're a little bit thicker 
on this one. That's why it probably does a little bit better through here. If you're traveling outside the country, you're going to come across certain places that are going to, you need to get up and either pick it up or move it. Um, so we don't like to come out here and show you this stuff riding through this perfect and editing it. I know there's stuff that you see on the beach all the time. They're riding stuff on the beach. This thing could go on the hard surface beach if the, if the tide's down. But getting out to the beach, if there's not a, like a, a ramp or some way, it's not. So be careful with falling for some of those videos and tricks to sell you on a beach chair. I wouldn't say buy this for the beach. If you go to the beach once a year and you're taking your mother, your father, uh -huh. and you can get it down to the hard Where beach sand, I don't see why this wouldn't work down there. It, you know, the salt's gonna crush that everything though. Tire. So just oh, be yeah. careful. All right, let's go do like a conclusion really quick. tight through here. I don't know if we'll make it. Clear? The, the, the narrowest chair of them all. All right, so inside of a store, small store, yeah, it's fine. You're gonna win the race, <laughs> Who, him? Yeah. He lost. I won. You wanna sit in this chair and tell me how you like it, how it feels? Awesome. Samantha, right? Sam. Sam? <coughs> Samantha. No, Sam. <laughs> Sam I am? <laughs> yes, it is. All right, so this right here is a good way of getting in and out of it too. That's nice. I like yep. that. I'll let you sit in all three of them. Can you do that? Okay. What? Uh -oh. My leg. So comfort-wise, how's it feel? It's a little snug on my big body. Um, comfort on this one. What would you rate it? One to ten. Honest a nine. opinion. A nine? Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. That's a good rating. If, if this was low, it'd be a 10. It can go lower. Yep. All right, okay. Denise. Well, good. Let's get you over here. Okay. Uh, he's here. I'm working her out. That's right. Oh, man, I wouldn't mind one of these, I bet. Let's see that how is so lightweight. It is lightweight. It's about 38 pounds, I think. I can wow. handle that. They got a new one coming out. It's a little bit wider, though. It would have to be wider because yep. I got a bar in my hip. Okay. Denise, I, I didn't know that yeah, these are the. Okay, this is too short I, for me. They're almost the same. Can't change that. Except okay. that this one. All right, you ready for the race? It's 27. Okay. That's 47. Look at the wheels in the back. That was digging in the back. Yeah, oh yeah. Just to stand out a little bit <coughs> farther. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell probably you. Probably on five, uh, nine. No. Five, nine, okay. Yeah. Um, the cushion can be changed though, just so you know. Mm -hmm. So right now, would you rate it? The back and seat are comfortable. Okay. I'd give it an eight. Eight? Uh -huh. Okay, well done. Yep, I'd give Eddie, it an eight. bring that over here real quick, please. Sir. Go find Brandon for me. Take that mic off. Actually, you want to, want to pause it. We'll get her started so she don't have to. Hey. They're number one in the league right now. Are they? Yes, they are. Oh, who's playing? All right, so. This one's <laughs> honest. 
We're not paying you to, to say good stuff. We're getting five. A, a five? <laughs> Eddie, you rated this at an eight. Or seven. He's a lot skinnier, though. Seven. And it, yeah, no. The cushion on this one is more comfortable than that one, The yep. these two, but that's it. Okay. Well, all these cushions can be changed. Right. All right. Oh, there you go. Someone yeah. tried out all three of them, and uh, we appreciate you. We'll get that lift taken care of. Well, yeah, then maybe a four. <laughs> all right. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, that makes a big